Welcome to Chemistry Lab. My name is Jeremy Krug, and today we're looking at a property of materials called specific heat capacity. Basically, specific heat capacity is a measure of how well a material resists temperature change. Water is a good example of a material that has a very high specific heat capacity. Water heats up very slowly, and it also cools down very slowly. If you've ever been to a swimming pool on a summer night, you probably have experienced that. Although the air cools off quickly, the water in that pool stays warm. On the other hand, iron is a good example of a material that has a low specific heat capacity. Iron heats up fast, and it also cools down fairly fast. Try putting a cast iron frying pan over a flame, it heats up pretty fast. Today, we're going to demonstrate the difference with two blocks here on the lab station. Now, to the casual observer, these two blocks look pretty much identical. But let's take a closer look. I have some ice here, and I'm going to place some ice on the first block, just like that. And now I'm going to place some ice on the second block, just like that. Now, there's not much happening on the first block, uh, but wow, look at the second block. The second block is really melting that ice. Just so you know, I didn't heat up or cool down either of these blocks in any way. So what is going on here? Well, the first block is made of foam, which has an extremely high specific heat capacity. That means that it resists temperature change and it's not conducting much heat at all into the ice. As a result, the ice doesn't melt. So we can say that high specific heat materials are generally heat insulators. The second block, on the other hand, is made of aluminum, which has a very low specific heat capacity. That means that it changes temperature very easily, and it's able to conduct lots of heat from the surroundings into the ice. As a result, the ice melts very quickly. So we can say that low specific heat materials are generally heat conductors. Now, you can use this to your benefit. Uh, you can buy these devices that are sometimes called a magic defrosting tray so that if you have frozen meat or some other frozen food, you can place it on this magic tray and it will defrost faster. Well, it's not magic at all. It's aluminum. They just take advantage of the low specific heat capacity of that particular metal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you learned a little chemistry in the process, then please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel. I put lots of chemistry tutorials and videos online, and I don't want you to miss a thing. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again where we can learn some more chemistry together.